Hey gang, Evan Sutton here. Today we're gonna talk about Live 9, specifically uh, the new compressor plugin they've provided. It's called the Glue Compressor, and uh, this is what it looks like right here. The glue compressor is meant to be sort of like an SSL bus compressor, which was the compressor that came on the master fader of an SSL console, and it has been known to, quote, glue mixes together, you know, to really tie the room together, if you will. Uh, so we're going to try it on a few different things today, because it's got some, uh, some interesting features. So we're going to try it on some drums, we're going to try it on some bass, and then, of course, the entire mix. So let's just get an idea of the beat that we were working with here. I thought we'd do something a little funky. Is that cool? Is that cool with you? Good. So there you go. I'd like to start with a uh, drum bus here. Now I have my drum elements right here and I've grouped them together. And so they're all coming through this one fader now. So I can turn them all up and down and so forth. And I'm going to go ahead and go over here and let's let's turn on the glue compressor and let's talk a little bit about the features. We've got pretty standard attack, release, and ratio. These are uh, fixed ratio points, 2, 4, and 10. 2 to 1, 4 to 1, and 10 to 1. Uh, then we have our threshold here. We have some makeup gain. And then we have a dry wet, which is a really interesting feature. So I'm going to turn it to all wet. And uh, I'm going to talk about this soft clip button in a moment. So let's just go ahead and do some, uh, some standard compression here. But what I'm going to do is actually run a parallel compression routing, which means that we're going to mix in a really, really compressed version of our drums with a sort of relatively uncompressed version. And so we're going to have our cake and eat it too. We're going to be able to get that hyper compressed sound, but we're going to be able to maintain uh, some of the natural uh, goodness and the dynamic range that we have in these drums. So let me go ahead. I'm going to solo this here and uh, let's just do some compression. So as I turn the ratio down, this is my gain reduction. I'm slamming the meter a little bit. But here's the special thing. Uh, I'm going to really, really hyper compress this. You see I'm on uh, 10 to 1. I've got a relatively quick attack and a slower release. I'm going to hit this soft clip button, which means that it's going to introduce a limiter in there with a little wave shaping that's going to let me distort the signal a bit. So I, I'm going to turn this down a touch because I'm going to turn the makeup gain way up to push it a little bit. When this light goes off, you know that you're soft clipping. Without it, it's actually going to really clip, but with this turned on, it's just going to distort a little bit in a way that we kind of like. So now what I'm going to do is uh, just pull this dry wet back. And, and having a dry wet knob like this is really, really handy for doing parallel compression because you don't have to run a separate channel strip with your compressor. So I can just pull this back and sort of mix in my original signal. So the goal here is not to only get the hyper compressed signal. It's not even really to make it that much louder. The goal is to sort of add some punchiness without losing uh, too much of the sound's character. So here's without. And then here's with the glue compressor. And let's listen to how that sounds in the mix. Here's without. And now here's with the glue compressor. Really present, really punchy and warm. Now, I also have a bass over here. And one interesting thing about the glue compressor is that you can do side chain compression with it. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm grabbing my kick drum here. And I have uh, a setting here where I'm going to I'm going to drive this bass sound a little bit, but also duck it a little with the kick drum. Let's take a listen. Here's without. Of course, I'm going to need to turn it down a little bit because I'm driving it with that makeup gain. That extra saturation is going to help it sit in the mix really nicely. I also have that going on this other bass, and here it is without that. Okay, just a little warmth, a little punch, a little fuzz. I love it. Now, on to the master channel. So let's, uh, let's bring the glue compressor in here. And what you want to do when you're adding mix bus compression, if you're not mastering 
So in other words, we're still in the mix stage and we want to leave lots of dynamic range for our mastering. We're just going to do something subtle. So I've got the threshold uh, not super low. I'm not using any makeup gain. I've got a slowish attack and release. Uh, or a mid, you know, mid-speed release, and then I've got a ratio of four. Pretty simple. And so here's without. And that's with it in there. It's just going to kind of pull in some things, you know, put put everything in a nice box. That's how I like to think of it. Uh, don't go too crazy on mix bus compression. It's something that mystifies a lot of people, and it's really easy to go overboard. Just follow your ears. Trust your ears. So there you have it. That's the new glue compressor that's coming in Ableton Live 9, which will be out sometime soon. It's one of many new features that you can see us talk about here on the DubSpot YouTube channel. This is Evan Sutton, also known as Astrolith. I'm the senior sound design instructor here at DubSpot in New York City and online. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.